Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, thanks for coming back and checking out another one of my videos. Uh, this is Aromatic Coffee, and uh, tonight I would like to take a moment to discuss one of the issues that I think has plagued the MCOC community for quite a while now, which is the inability to control your fate when it comes to pulling crystals. Um, obviously, this is something that should not come at a free cost, so to say. Um, Kabam is a business. Kabam needs to make money. We want them to make money because we want them to continue making this game that we love. So in order to do that, we need to figure out ways that uh, can benefit free-to-play players, can benefit pay-to-win players, and can benefit Kabam all at the same time. Um, and, and uh, you know, make things more accessible for the players, but not make them um, too easy to acquire. Uh, so, the idea that I have tonight is uh, what I like to call the Grandmaster's Fate Manipulator. And what this would be is, uh, it would be an item that you would acquire when you reach level 60 in-game. Uh, the reason why I say level 60 is just because... A lot of things that Kabam does right now go by progression levels, uh, titles. You've got Uncollected and Cavalier being the two main ones where, you know, there's a notable difference between rewards and ability to acquire things when you move to those tiers uh, from getting those titles. So, level 60, however, um, there's a time commitment that goes into getting those things. I can't really start up an account and within 24 hours reach level 60 so um, I think that it's important for something like this to be locked kind of behind that and the reason why I say that is just because um, it, it will make the ability to acquire champs easier um, it will make the ability to acquire you know specific a specific champ that you're trying to get a lot easier you don't want necessarily new players to be able to just you know have free reign of what they're getting that early on in the game so uh, the idea goes along hand in hand with it would have to be a new crystal um, I don't think command would have to change too much aside from just creating a new crystal it would be a basic crystal so it would not include any of the current featured champs it would only be champions who are in the basic pool at the time that you pull said crystal so we'll go to our crystals really quick here just to pull one up i don't really have a whole lot available so use this premium all right so up in the top right corner over here um i think the the, the key would be you'd have a grandmaster crystal a grandmaster five star grandmaster four star I think down the road you'd maybe want to institute this in a six star form but maybe right now it's not the best time to do that um, based off of just the the current how you know how common a six star is currently um, so you'd have a little marker over there um, and, and when you click that it would pop open a uh, device of some kind uh, that would have three slots on it and then those three slots would be uh, locked out if you haven't accomplished a specific set. So let's pop over here real quick. Get this open. All right, Grandmaster's Fate Manipulator. So you have three rune slots on the Fate Manipulator. Uh, rune slot one got the you know unlocked at level sixty. Uh, you cannot unlock rune slots two or three until you've unlocked rune slot one, mind you. Rune slot 2 is unlocked when you become uncollected, and rune slot 3 is unlocked when you become cavalier. So if you're already cavalier uh, prior to hitting level 60, you won't have access to this yet. But once you do get to that level 60, it will unlock the, uh, the whole thing essentially for you at that point. Uh, so what are these rune slots? Well, uh, rune slot number 1 is the common slot is the bronze rune as I have dubbed it so uh, class favor 100% chance to acquire one of three specific classes 
the additional charge cost is 1.25 times. What does that mean? Well, what does that mean? It means the base cost of the Grandmaster 5-star crystal and the Grandmaster 4-star and Grandmaster 6-star or whatever is the same cost as it would be for a basic of the same type. So a 5-star we'll use is probably the easiest example. Um, would be 10,000 shards typically. Uh, you put in the class favor rune, it gives you a chance to acquire one of three specific classes. Um, you could have a rune for each combination of three classes. I'm not going to get into all the different denominations, but um, for example, you would have uh, one that's got mutant, tech, and skill. So you'd have a 100% chance to acquire a champion of mutant, tech, or skill. And that would cost you, when you put that in there, the cost for the crystal would go from being 10,000 to being 12,500 shards. Um, you can only put in one rune of each type into each slot per use. Once you use the rune, it's gone. You would have to acquire another one. Um, that is where Kabam could, you know, sell these for units. They could sell them for money. There could be unique ones that you can't get unless you buy them from uh, with real money. Um, there could be ultra rare ones that are locked behind, say, 100%ing 6.4, or you know, Act 6, or 100%ing Abyss, where you get a special crystal, um, a special rune that you can only get from there, or a special type of crystal if they really want to be, you know, chance based for it. You know, you could have a tier three rune crystal where it has the most desirable runes in it. And the only way to acquire that one is through completing Abyss or whatever. So, all right, moving on to rune two. Uh, we've got the gold rune, the rare rune. Um, this gets a little bit more specific. Um, class favor, 100% chance to pull a specific class. So if you really wanted to um, pull a specific class, um, let's say you really wanted Aegon, so you're, you put in your skill class favor gold rune. Uh, when you place it in there, you're guaranteed to get a skill class for the you know, a 50% cost increase. So uh, that would make the base cost, if you were just using Rune 2, a 15,000 shard crystal. Um, I also have on there year favor and tag favor. Um, and then it, as you can see for those, I have the variable costs. Obviously there's certain years worth of champs that are more desirable than others. Say if you put in a 2015 it would actually decrease the cost of the crystal. Um, I think that that's beneficial because, you know, some people are trying to pull older champs, but they're not necessarily the most desirable ones. But in addition to that, sometimes if you're popping crystals, you simply want to do those pulls to acquire ISO for another rank up. Um, so it might be beneficial for people who are just trying to acquire ISO to be able to say, I want to pull a, um, I want to pull a skill champ. I, you know, I want my skill ISO. I don't care what year that champ is. So you could put in a, you know, one hundred percent chance to pull a specific class skill, and then you could put in a year favor. Give me a, you know, two thousand fifteen, two thousand sixteen champ, and it, you know, it evens out to be where it's, you know the base costs but you're guaranteed to get the class ISO that you want that would help alleviate some of the the gold woes that some people experience um, for no real additional cost you know to go along with that if you wanted to you could even create a rune one or a rune two where it's a gold rune uh, a golden rune uh, where when you put that rune in it increases the amount of gold that you pull from that crystal by a thousand percent or you know you are guaranteed to get a hundred thousand gold when you open up a crystal while you have this rune in there something like that 
uh, four star runes and five star runes could be separate from one another just so that you're not mixing in the same pool um, yeah so and then lastly the rune number three the diamond rune the legendary uh, these would be the most difficult to obtain uh, they would be locked behind all types of walls but uh, they also have the greatest chance to essentially target a champ now I've highlighted specific champ on there and I did that because reality is uh, if you're doing a rune one a rune two and a rune three with this you can almost guarantee yourself a 100 percent chance at whatever you want regardless of needing it to be actually stating that it's a specific champ to begin with so um, when you start getting into filtering things down three tiers deep you know you're basically guaranteeing yourself something if you do it right so uh, dupe favor 100% chance to pull a duplicate champion two times cost unique favor 100% champ 100% uh, chance to pull a new champ two times favor or two times shards so this would put you at essentially um, 1.5, 2.0 to, what would that be, 5.5 uh, times cost. So 55,000 shards if you wanted to use all three. But 55,000 shards for guaranteeing yourself essentially the champ that you want. I think that that's worth it. I don't think that's unreasonable. Um, you know, let me know if you think that I'm wrong. If you think that's unreasonable, uh, but it doesn't sound too bad to me. Obviously, the the uh, multipliers could be adjusted if Kabam felt like it was too high of a chance or or whatever. Um, you could lower it, raise it. You know, this is just a this is just a mock up. You know, I haven't uh, done a ton of number punching for this so uh, that's pretty much the gist of it um, let me know what you guys think of my idea I feel like it would be relatively easy for Kabam to implement in game um, it wouldn't take a ton of coding it's not a new game mode it's literally just a crystal and then something that modifies the odds which I mean those things are already essentially in place to a degree um, so, have a good night, guys. Bye.